Well, contemporary cities are, of course, diverse and, uh, and uh, uh, have different conditions. Um, I would say, in a general sense, we have to see things in, uh, along two main perspectives. One is the perspective of what we can call the social metabolism of cities in general. Uh, that is the, the, the metabolism that cities as a whole have in relation to nature of the non-human nature. If you then move from uh, the relation between uh, uh, cities as uh, uh, forms of society, of social being and production and reproduction in relation to nature into actually social reproduction of what's goes inside and of course there are many inequities uh, that occur in, 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 in the cities, inequities in terms of uh, forms of uh, appropriations and when we're talking about ownership we are talking about a, a very general sense of what we mean by appropriation. The main forms of appropriations are of course private property, uh, public or social property. Social property is something that has been developed by Robert Castell and common property. And uh, these forms of appropriations are differentiated uh, if one applies, for example, the bundle of right framework. They are differentiated in terms of uh, uh, withdrawal and access of resources, so who can withdraw and access resources, but also, and more important, who has the right to manage those resources. Uh, and uh, in that sense, uh, the inequities are uh, widespread. Think about the uh, many empty buildings uh, in, in cities uh, which are left empty uh, because of speculation, speculative purposes. Many of these buildings uh, owned by uh, big landowners, banks, etc. Well, in in instead could be used for uh, not just to house people but uh, to provide places for communal renewal. Enclosures imply the presence of uh, two, at least two main logic uh, that cut through social cooperation. I mean, my, my understanding of, uh, uh, in a broad sense, of what uh, goes on in a city or in a country, in a territory, in a space, is, or in the world, is different scales of social cooperations is that people cooperate in different forms through different means in order to reproduce their lives. But the logics through which the social cooperation occurs are differentiated. And I think we can make an argument that the differentiation occur is clustered into main, two main broad ways. One is the one which is dominated by capital and there the priority, there is a hierarchy of objectives and objectives influence forms and the way we, we do cooperate. Um, and, and capital uh, uh, what we generally call the, the need for the economy, uh, uh, has uh, prioritized profit and accumulation. And it does that not just because there are individual managers who focus on that way, but it's a systemic thing. We are uh, embedded with the competing relations which forces us to uh, look uh, at social cooperation in, in this way, subordinate use values, uh, desires, needs of people um, to that logic.
But on the other hand, the needs of uh, social reproduction, the reproduction of human beings by means of human beings, uh, is, uh, is paramount and is being squeezed out from this logic. The narratives of movements since I remember have shifted, uh, I think in a positive sense, in relation to what used to be, uh, at least in the imaginary and, and in the practices of, of people. Uh, also, I think social movements have been uh, shifting uh, their own practices as being, in, in, in so far as being a movement. Uh, in so far as uh, in the way they are organizing their space. Uh, they've been developing, especially since the 19, 90s, uh, 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 sensitivities in many parts, at least of Europe and the United States, uh, but drawing from uh, uh, experiences of indigenous populations in, 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 in Latin America, my, was my, my reference point, and the Zapatistas, uh, they've learned or they have been developing techniques of, uh, um, uh, of how to practice uh, democracies in a collective and communal ways um, uh, and beyond strict ideological battles within the movement, although still there are, but the sensitivity has increased and the techniques have exploded. We need somehow a more um, uh, synergetic and uh, productive and imaginatory uh, imaginative uh, interrelations between what we call commons and what we call social movements. And what we call commons is uh, the capacity of self-organizations and people coming together to govern their own spheres of production or reproduction in every aspect of life. And what we call social movements is is the coming together of diverse, diverse um, sections in societies uh, to uh, shift the constraints that are posed upon us. Uh, because we need to shift the constraints to allow commons-based uh, practices and forms of, of production, reproduction to expand because those constraints are, you know, are defended by the rules of the state, etc. So we need that. So we need both. We need somehow uh, a, a more synergetic integration and an expansion of both, a multiplication of commons and a multiplication of movements and their own interlacings somehow. That's what we need. They contribute by creating, by exposing people who have been individualized or been told throughout their lives that everything that happens is their own responsibility. And that they have, that they are exposed, they've been exposed throughout their life to uh, a form of alienated desire, which is the uh, singularized access to commodities. The commons provide a way to change the subjectivity or to provide a, an horizon in which the subjectivities can move to recognize that we can change the world with others, in communication with others. And through that, we develop an awareness and a knowledge we exper through experimentations 
and through experience of the techniques of how to do that. If the commons multiply and uh, uh, if uh, synergies develop with social movements, we, we will then be in, in the position to develop new forms of social cooperation. And when these new forms of social cooperation develop, on the basis of the commons, on the basis of principles of social reproductions, in which social reproduction means that human beings produces human beings, which means that human beings are both means and ends. And when we reconcile means and ends, we are developing forms of social justice. And when we consider that human beings producing human beings are also relating to the non-human environment, which we depend on, we also develop new sensitivities. So to develop new forms of social cooperation, multiply them, expand them, link them, uh, creating new texture, new uh, fabrics of society and social corporations means addressing all the issues that we are now struggling with. Climate change, social injustice and all that. We, we are the force to, uh, to deal with that. And so there is this kind of potential synergies between uh, commons as context for creation of new sensitivities or how to work together. And on the other hand, the working together and the expansion and multiplication of this changing the world. That's what it is. <laughs>